Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Freeborn. So today, we're going to have a look at the contracts. So I think we're in a better position. Um, the people who I guess who are enjoying Clan Smoke Jaguar have uh, pretty much um, did a good job of almost flipping this planet back while we were away. And which opens up the iron hold here to be um, hopefully flipped from wolf's hands into uh, jade falcon hands i don't know if that'll actually happen with us but we can give it a shot i'll try recording a few episodes back to back see if we can do it but uh, there looks like there's people that are actually pushing back against clan wolf so wolf has uh lost tamaron here they've lost horde um, which is good and they're being pushed back a little bit to on roche here um Paxson is still in full wolf control, but uh, it's nice to see that uh, Smoke Jaguar is coming back here. So we're going to take a Jaguar mission here today, or sorry, a mission against Clan Wolf here today. Take it for the planetary government. Um, and then we're going to jump over to Ironhold and see if we can do some missions there. So we need to get more um, rep with uh, Jade Falcon. We've been away far too long, so let's get back into their good books. So let's take a contract here right away. Uh, we're going to jump in with Bargaining Chip, I think. Um, well, we could do sending a message as well here with our main lance. Uh, destroy base. And this one is a capture base. So let's do the destroy base. Let's do both here. And then we'll jump over. Uh, so let's try and get these done fast. So we'll do sending a message first. Let's get our main lance going on this one. And go full salvage. And we're already set up to go, so let's do this. Okay, here we go. Level of facility, get out. Yeah, those look like pretty heavy turrets. Alright, so this map's a couple choices. You can go straight down the center. The thing I don't like about that is a lot of these turrets can fire right down this alleyway. Uh, the best way I've found is to kind of come up this way, get up onto level ground with the turrets. Uh, you can single the back one out first. Target the one down in here, get the one up on the top, and then nail the one in the back. Well, there should be a mech up here, I think, but we can take out him, and then there's three usually over here. So we're going to go that route, I think, today. Uh, the one thing you do have to be careful about with this particular movement is that if there's any reinforcements, they come from over here. So a couple back here and a couple up here. So you just have to be, be wary of your backside the whole time. Waiting for orders. I don't think it'll be an issue for us, but... Just to keep our keep that in mind as we move. Uh, also, I want to thank everybody for a lot of the great comments. Um, a lot of really good ideas on builds and stuff. So uh, one of them was um, in employing the heavy medium lasers. Now I did try to do a heavy medium laser build. I can't remember if I did it on or off camera on uh, Blockades Mech, or sorry, the new Nova, which is Blockades Mech, the F, uh, and it just didn't. The heat just didn't work for me. Um, but I think what we'll do is we will... Arctic Wolf, okay. And he's got low armor, Kit Fox, heavy turrets. Oh, what do we got back here? Hellfire. Okay, cool. We can take this guy maybe. Um, what we'll do is we'll build the um, new Stormcrow into that particular uh, mech. Let's just reserve this. Uh, and I will build it just so that we can see how it functions uh, because I'd be interested to see how it does work. I, I'm not... See, the problem I find with the uh, medium heavy lasers, um, you're getting 35 heat for 50 damage from a medium range weapon, right? Um, so with four of them doing 200 damage, you're, you're, you're generating um, um, 140 heat, right? That's a hell of a lot to sink. So now if you have the, um, okay, where are you going? The advanced, uh, what's it called now? The the core that gives you minus percent, percent weapon heat, right? Uh, it sinks 40 and then it's like minus 20% weapon heat. That's pretty good, I mean, generally. And then you get some more of those advanced double heat sinks in there. 
uh, and you can sink a lot. You'd need an exchanger, you'd need a heat bank, you need a lot of extra components just to make that 200 damage viable. And if you think about it on a clan mech, right, 240 heat is 7 ER medium lasers. Right, seven ER medium lasers at 33 damage a pop. You're looking at um, what 220 something damage. So it is more damage, and you have more versatility with them. You can fire up more targets at once, but you're not doing the, the same pinpoint damage. So I mean, it is. I don't know. It's kind of iffy. I'm not 100% um, sold on the idea yet, but I will try and build it. I will do it just to see what it does look like, because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, you know, there is, a, there is a possibility that I am wrong, so we'll have a look at that anyway. Okay, so let's have a look at trying to take down... Let's go this route. 60%, eh? 45 armor. I think we wait till we're closer. I think we want to take these... Yeah, I think the shredder turret's got to come down, looking at it now. Let's fire at this guy. Okay, we should be able to pull that guy down. I mean, the other thing too is, I mean, we could switch up Al Duce's mech. Standing by. Uh, I'm kind of liking the Ultra 10 build on this though. I like having that extra punchy damage. Ooh, that puts you in the range of four turrets. We have three turrets, because one will be gone. Let's try and kill the turrets. Let's go with the turrets. I'm going to multi-target this up. Shooting at you, and we've already shot you, so we'll shoot at you. And we'll shoot at you. It looks like we could probably do all three, maybe? So that'll be B. Uh, hmm... This will be A. You'll be C. Let's fire these. Acknowledge. Nah. It's okay. We still have another pilot. Woo. Only one hit, eh? Yeah, we shouldn't have split it that much. Alright, blockade. Time to be a hero. Alright. Full speed. Alright, so... Let's go this route. Let's just ensure A and B. Firing on multiple enemies. Okay, there's that one. Okay, A and B gone. Target destroyed. That's a laser turret. Commander. Let's get a firing line going. No, 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 we got this target right here. Nicely done. Okay, three turrets down. Target destroyed. Now we can focus on the mechs. Oftentimes, um, if you're wondering why I'm targeting the turrets, the mechs we can easily, relatively easily pull down, but I, 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 I want to spend time doing that because I want to get salvage from them. The turrets could be hammering us every single turn. And I'm sure you guys know this. Like You're better off stripping turrets down quickly like an AC-20 and two AC-10s, they could do lay down some pretty heavy damage if you're not um, focusing on them at the start. Getting rid of them completely um, so you don't have to worry about them is, I find, sometimes way better, especially the LRM turrets that can hit you directly over really long distances or large pulse lasers or any kind of large weapon that can hit you over long distances. You're better of stripping it before it has a chance to do anything. Are you going to melee? I don't even understand this. Why would you even do that? Yeah, see, that's a thunderbolt that needs to go. If that's a 20, or even an arrow system, right? Like, if that was an arrow system, we'd be dead meat. All right, so I don't want... I want to maximize the Hellfire. So we're going to lose this Arctic Fox. It's 40 tons, right? Arctic Wolf, sorry. I think it's a 40 ton, right? So tiny now, I can't even read it. Looks like it's 40. Uh, let's just hammer him and get rid of him. Wow, his 
heavy machine gun and streaks are like gone already that's interesting all right just hammer him Okay, you're gonna take. Uh, we warlord it now. I think so. I want to be accurate here, so we're gonna go after this guy's legs. It's having a really hard time shooting, but yeah, we got one hit. Want to pull his legs off him? Another melee, really? Shadow Harker, I don't, I don't know if that's a 2C or not. It'd be nice if it was. We do have 2C parts. Let's get over here. Rolling. Let's keep together. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, we got low channel. I'll just fire. Let's go after that leg. But that hurt. I don't think it hurt as much as you thought it did. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, ho, ho. and that's why I love to see, That's why I love the animations. That's so awesome. All right, they're down to half their force now. Three turrets and one mech gone. As far as I'm concerned, it's even less than half their force. Yeah, you cheeky monkey, you. Warning. Armor low. Playing the same game as me. System holding. A turret's gotta go. Okay, if we can take that leg of this hellfire. Yes, Commander. Going full throttle. <sighs> yeah, it's a Thunderbolt 20. It's got to go. If that thing lands a shot, it's like 100 damage. Turret destroyed. Cannot have that. All right, Griff, uh, you've taken some good solid back damage. Let's get your back to the wall over here. Don't have to worry about the turret now. And... Ah, uh, no, let's just offensive push him. Going to shoot for this leg. And let's leave this off and we'll fire the rest. Okay, there's the leg. Should be able to get the next one. Just in case this guy wants to be a backstabber as well. Let's just move over here. Um, just going to shoot at him. That was arm. No, a torso. Ultra 10. Gotta be worried about that. He's going on 24. Good thing we're fast, that's for sure. Uh, you're angry, buddy. You're pretty damn angry. Waiting 
for orders. I'm there. Okay, let's see if we can get this other leg. Copy that, nope. Oh, he bailed out though. Just as good. Actually, that's even better. This guy wants to be a jerk. We can be jerks. How you like me now, buddy? Yeah, he's being an asshole. Let's just get him. Doesn't want to engage in proper clan warfare. I use proper in quotes there, of course. You even get my other medium laser. Yeah, look at the pieces flying off him. Screw you, buddy. Ooh, he's got a Gauss rifle. I think that's... Yeah, I think it's in the torso? I know we had one of these guys and I should know where it is, but that should take care of it though. Right? Yep. Don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's finish this guy up. Doesn't look like there's going to be reinforcements. Shredding! I can't wait to see what Mockingbird does with a bigger mech. All right, let's just toast these buildings and go home. Removing clan wool from the system. Let's send them back to their home world. No, you can just come here and get us. Thank you. Okay, contract payment increased by 35%, which is nice. It's always nice to get those extra little bit of sea bills. Did take a bit of damage in the Atticus center torso. Uh, back torsos of Griff here. Actually, that was, you know... Yeah, well, good thing we got a lot of back armor, that's for sure. All right, Hellfire pieces. Now, I know we've got different version. Of, okay, am I, am I not thinking Hellfire? Am I thinking something else? Two Cs. Uh, don't need this well we probably going to need the sea bill so I'm going to do that first and then we'll go with Hellfire alright so um, there was somebody that mentioned um, a good solution for picking up salvage and I apologize can't remember the name I think it was Mikey something Michael um and I, I'll butcher your last name, starts with an A, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, mentioned maybe taking uh, maximum half of mech parts and everything else has to be regular salvage. So I think that's actually a pretty good compromise. So in this case, I'll take two pieces, but maybe we take half, half mech salvage and then round down. Uh, and we use that as a compromise moving forward. because so I think that's actually a pretty good compromise. It'll ensure us picking up uh, mechs quicker um, and the mechs we want quicker. Um, but it also won't be abusing the uh, not choosing mech salvage bit that, that I've that I've kind of normally go down. So I think we'll try and do that more often than not. So in this case, I'm going to take two and one uh, XL engine, but we need this for C-Bill. So I'm going to do that and let's see what else we get. All right, we got one, two, three, four Hellfire pieces and a Shadowhawk 2C piece. ATM 6, nice. We've got a lot of ATM launchers now. And Clan Double Heatsink Kit, which is good. We've got five of them already, but we can use it for cash, so it's good. Okay, 40,000 for repairs, which isn't so much of a big deal. We've got two lances and we're jumping shortly. So let's take another mission right away. Let's go to contracts. I think that last mission will also give. Uh, I think it's Griff and Mockingbird, both? I think so. They'll give them both um, their 8th level of piloting, which will give them plus 2 to evasion, which is awesome. Alright, so let's take Bargaining Chip. It's got a good payout, good salvage against Clan Wolf. Once again, let's take that, 
and work on getting these guys really hate us really really hate us minus 100 I think minus 93 well let's crank that up a little more here all right let's accept this and we'll flush out the main lance and bring in the second lance so this is these lances are going to change really quickly bring the white in and the gender so that's the first mission for the white so let's see how that goes um uh, shogun sun dance six pack and hannibal now what do we put on the white again oh yeah it's all er mediums so we're going to leave it well we want to switch out the grinner now we're going to leave it this way i want to see how this white performs let's let's deploy and get this done Okay. So usually there's reinforcements on this one. Let's hope there is. So we can get some more stuff. Uh, I'm receiving you. Let's push, but stay in cover if we can. Mechs are usually spread out across here. I think there's like three in here and one over here or something. Uh, the turrets, if there are any. Doesn't look like there are, but there might be. Um... The thing about them being on the walls, and I'm not sure if this still applies, um, but usually if you shoot the walls out from underneath them, uh, the turrets will be destroyed, but you can claim what's in the turrets as in the salvage. You, uh, but we'll see. Let's get up in here. Sprinting. Don't think you need to be that close. And once again, this guy's a little slower. It's a direct fire platform. Let's just bring you into here for now. That's the white. It's our range platform. Four ER mediums and LRM-10. It's a slight upgrade from the last mech that we had. I think it was the Cougar. Oh. I got the center tray. Yeah, I saw that blip too. Don't we like reserving because we lose... Um, yeah, who do we want to go first here? Shut up, Darius. I'm still seeing hostile contacts on Shut up, Darius. Looks like it's just turrets. Commander? Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, this will be fun. Why won't it let me target the, uh, used to be able to target the buildings. Well, we should be able to kill a turret anyway. Let's do it. Target destroyed. What can I do for you? Okay, that, the other two turrets, I think this back turret is probably a direct nuisance. The other turret's got really good, because uh, this turret here in the front's got really good positioning. Almost everywhere we go, it's covered by the other turret, except for here. Like, if you watch it when I move around, no matter where I go, both turrets can hit me. Well, that's not bad. The back turret can hit us there, though. Got two turrets on us here. Okay, that's probably pretty good right there. Oh, no, 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 we got shooting right there. Low chances to hit. Uh, let's get on this way. And firing. Not quite as much damage as I'd hoped for. But we are running limited number of LRMs, so... 40 is just never enough. I think our ER medium should be able to handle that from the white, though. <sighs> We're in bad positions. 
expecting to take some damage on this one. Okay, six pack. Not the most optimal positioning. But I want this turret gone, so we're going to move here and fire. Okay, nicely done. That turret is gone. It is gone. Okay. Okay, we're all going to fade over to the left now. These two turrets gone. We can duck into here. Kill the Uziel. Well, that's a pirate version, eh? Kill him. And this turret. And then deal with the mechs. Well, well I don't know. We'll see. We're going to pull over this way. Sure, buddy. I didn't want to be the one that you had to commit suicide to, but here we go. A little bit of lotto from uh, 8 Mile. I didn't want to be that one that you had to commit suicide to. Yes, Commander. Okay, uh... I want that turret. I think I want the mech this time more than the turret. Still gonna put us in turret range though. That won't. Okay, not really great chances to hit, but we're gonna take them all. Wow. Bad, bad, bad. You cannot stay there. Still partially see, you'll see the flamer off. I'm gonna fire on this guy. Target confirmed. Wow, still only three hits. Waiting for orders. God, this has got me worried. Don't want those turrets shooting at me, but there's no way to not get them to shoot at me. I don't want to move in too close because that stupid griffin. Let's move back here. Acknowledged. And yep. All weapons are go. Be lucky if we kill him. You can see the difference between the lower lance and the, the main lance and being able to detect enemies and stuff. Okay, we pushed him back, which is good. That does not look good. Waiting for orders. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's go with everything. Another hit like that and you're <sighs> not bad. Well, at least we've got the Mad Cat. And the Storm Crow now, we can re rotate out two of these 35 tonners. Ooh, nice shooting, buddy. Well, we only had two chevrons of evasion. Yeah. Well, 
hope these are just like this has got a, what large ER large probably don't remember what this thing had all right so rapier Eh, if I was the watcher, he's probably going to pull back here. See what he does. That's my guess. Come on. Come on, you know you want to go. Yeah, he committed suicide. Again, even though he didn't commit suicide really last time, but I think that was a T-Samp that he just fired or a... Oop. So this guy's got the large. And that guy's got a large, so we got to take those turrets down. They're not hitting very well, so I'm not that worried, but... We're at a range where it's going to be difficult for them to do anything. Waiting for orders. That turret can hit us from here. Uh, I'm here. Let's open this game up. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Uh, yep. Affirmative. That's a kill. That was an extremely lucky kill is what that was. Alright, our white. Wow. Really bad chances to hit. Even worse chances to hit. Position confirmed. Not the best move in the world, but... Leave the alarm off, fire the rest. Two down. Alright, firing. Tag ER large and a large pulse. Firing on target. That's not bad. Not bad. Ready for orders. Heading out. Really gotta fix the heat in this mech. Engaging with target. Nice. That turret is gone. Okay. Advantage us. Three more targets removed this turn. Excellent. A turret's got to go down next turn. I think we want to take a turn to cool off, so we might just pull back. Depends on how much this Griffin wants to push. He's unstable though, so we should take advantage of that. We can avoid the turret for now. Moonwalking. Moonwalking. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Oh. Reporting internal damage. I saw that. Heads up, Commander. You've got hot shit. Standing by. Got it. Full speed 
no target. Got to ignore those guys for now. Nicely done. Okay, it's a vehicle. Pretty damn fast moving vehicle. Joust, huh? Not sure why these guys are taking so long figuring out what they're going to do here. So three of us go on 19. We can focus fire this Griffin. Commander? Let's get Hannibal on him first. Let's make sure the turret can't see us. I'm going to leave the ER medium off just so we're not running into heat deficit here. Let's hammer him, see if we can make him... Mm, let's see if we can knock his ass down. He's got full armor. Okay, not enough. What's up, boss? That's pretty damn good chances to hit. Let's go this way. We cool off a little bit, still apply a bit of damage. Maybe we knock him down. Now oh, he's hanging in there. Waiting for orders. Understood. Moving fast. See how long you can hang in there, buddy. Drop the flame around him. Well, no, we're not going to hit him. Let's just fire. Okay, finally got a knockdown on him. Whew. Okay, Let's see what he does. That was an ER medium. Clint, okay. As long as it's not Clint Eastwood, we should be okay. Get up out of the dust, dude. Thought we had a fight going on here. See what you can bring to the table. You gotta jump. Enjoy that jumping around. He's looking around, deciding what he's gonna do. Huh, do I jump over there? I don't know, maybe we jump ahead. Maybe we attack that guy? I don't know. Am I going to jump here? What am I going to do? Come on, buddy. We're tired of giving you time to make your decision here. It's probably not even him that's going. It's probably someone over here. <laughs> oh, no, it was him. Oh, I take it back. Actually, that's not a bad move. That's not a bad move. I mean, you're still unstable as hell, but it's still not a bad move. Can't fire everything. Gonna cool off. We need to be full strength when those other guys show up. Uh, we got heat for you. Right, we can't see the Griffin right now, so I don't know. <sighs> is 
It's almost a shame to just go after this turret, but I think it's probably the smart move. It's going to give us more flexibility in the long run, I think. So let's do that. Firing on a turret. Because then I can just use this whole area over here and not have to worry about being targeted continuously by those lasers. Uh, you need to cool off. Roger, full speed. Order. You need to cool off too, but not as badly. Uh, yeah, I think we go this route to make sure we get them. Mm, yeah, we'll do this. Nice. Okay. One last turret. Okay, now it's what? Six on six on four? Maybe we only have two guys back there. This battle's taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But Wolf is surviving for the, uh, fighting for their survival on this planet right now, so... Putting their second units into play here to try and keep themselves alive. It's okay, we got Shogun and Sundance at uh, full heat now when we come back. Can take care of that Griffin without a problem. The Rapier should probably go down without a problem. Now that I don't have to... Ah! Shoot! <laughs> I gotta stop talking. Okay, he's unstable though. We can put his ass on the ground. I think we can try and get some pieces from that guy, maybe. There's a rapier over here somewhere. Uh, maybe it is only a Clint and a Joust down here. It's hard to say though, because it's like... They're so far away. I'm gonna say this again, I know I've said it a thousand times, but thank you to whoever ported these models over, because they're fucking incredible. This game is so good. There's the Clint moving back. Maybe not. Maybe they only have those two those two uh, units back here. It's so hard to say because there's been so many so long pauses. Nope. I heard another vehicle moving. I don't think it was the Joust. I'm receiving you. I haven't got the other leg yet either, but we gotta start this one. Because we got guys on the other side that can strip the other leg. Guard a critical hit. Yes, Commander. You know what you need to do, kid. Shit, you can't sweep the leg from anywhere over here? Sweep the leg! Firing. Forgot to turn it all on, but we didn't need it all. I don't know why he's saying pass the stability check. You're going down, buddy. Thank you for having full armor today. We really appreciate that. Commander. Jade Falcon thanks you for your commit commitments to uh, allowing us to take your salvage. Uh, yeah. He's got full armor here, eh? I think we should probably sweep it. Let's do it. Yep. Let's show this guy we don't want him around, please. Roger that. That's a critical hit. You have been detected. And you are now on fire. Enjoy it.
So I think we got the pieces we want, the Griffin pieces. The Uzi will too, though. I don't, I don't know. 50 tonner. That was a vehicle moving. It wasn't this one. He's fleeing the interview. He's going to pot shot with the LRM5, probably. No? Okay. So he's dead next turn. What are they doing? Yes, Commander. I think the next series I play, I'm going to put on the Hurt Me Bad AI, see what happens. It's difficult to like to know though. Like when you first start, I'm assuming that hurt me bad. It's going to be really, really bad. Unless you end up with good max to start with. I think I hit something good. I think you did too, buddy. Well, if your friends don't want to show up to help you, well, they don't like you, which means we don't like you. Which means you need to go away. Because you smell. Might be some good there. Stinky chicken's Commander. gone. Alright, let's get down here. Right, Commander. I don't know. Do we swap out the Jenner? We put something faster in, maybe? I mean, we could go with a faster mech with, like, streaks or something. For the lower lance. We could make this guy speedier. My fear is, though... Like, if we're punching above our weight, we're trying to anyway. If we go that route, the issue then becomes um, that if we engage mechs that are, like, really, really heavy, uh, and we have to close with them, it's going to be really bad news for us. I would rather have mechs like this that we can engage from range and be a little slower um, than to have to use streaks and close with the enemy. Like, cause now we can pepper, yep. this clean is not a danger at all, but now we can pepper him from range. I don't know. I really want to push these guys at the, the lighter level. I mean, I know we're all 35 tonners here. I really want to see how far we can go with the 35 ton mechs. I mean, this is a two skull. I don't know if these guys could handle a three, probably, depending on the mission. Yeah, I feel comfortable about my decision to take out those early turrets. There's another vehicle back there. They're just not moving in. Stay in the trees. So we got a Clint, a Cougar, a Poner Pursuit Tank, and a Joust. That's a fair bit of armor in that Joust. ER Large, ATM 9. Cougar's got the Goss Rifle, ER Mediums, Clint has got LB-10X, a couple of ER Mediums. The hack Goss, Goss Rifle. This guy's the danger, I think, right now. Danger and easier one to kill. Let's get on him. Waiting for orders. Can you get a direct line of sight on these guys? Please. Yes, thank you. Moving fast. Let's hammer this guy. Leaving the ER off. Uh, running out of um, LRMs. Firing. You got normal ammo still, too, so. Okay, he's detected. Order. At least we have speed. It's one bonus thing. All the medium pulses firing. It's good to go. Oh 
Wow, good chances to hit. Just gonna fire it straight out. Nice. Got lucky on that one. I was gonna pop this base, but I was hoping to get a quick kill on this joust, but it's got too much armor. I mean, if we pinpointed that side and all the weapons hit, then yeah, sure, but moon, walk in, I have no idea what the hell you just did. Can you not see us, or? Maybe they can't. Maybe they won't move in if they can't see us. I don't know. Oh, you can see us. I think maybe we try that, the Ruthless AI. Or we just crank it up. Maybe we just crank up the difficulty a little bit. Pew. I mean, when we move medium mechs down to this level, they should be our close-in mechs. Keep the lighter ones for our range, like Commander? Hannibal the Cannibal here staying as a ranged mech. Like, just being able to stand back and them not seeing us is, is a huge advantage. Alright, we're going to, uh... Sure. Coming to the end of the battle, I don't need to save any ammo on this. No, you're not. You still got, what, another two turns? Four eighty. Hundred points on the side, eh? Yeah, I don't know. 52. 90. Let's go this one. Confirmed. Maybe he's just giving us a target yeah. to shoot for and that's why he didn't do anything. I don't know. Copy that. Confirmed. It's a whole lot of nines. All right, dumping it on this guy. Okay. Reporting critical hit. Who's going first here, guys? Nineteen. Oh, he's coming to melee, really. I know the Clint, I think they're working on the Clint model, porting it over. This is still the Panther model, but don't care. From uh, this from this range anyway, it's it's fine. Okay, so we should be able to pull the Clint down. Get started on this vehicle. Long as he doesn't roll away. Now the Clint don't really care about too much. It is a clan version, so it might have an XL engine. I don't know. Do we want to try and sal salvage the XL if it's got one? Well, it's got an LB10X, so maybe it does to save weight. Wow. Yes, Commander. Uh, 
Okay, engine destroyed. It didn't say Clan XL, so I don't know if he's got one or not. Okay, I'm gonna try and take this vehicle out now, right here. Uh, leave the 10 off. Let's make sure we move a fair bit. Turn the flamer on, because why not? Firing. Alright, you should go down now. Coordinates received. Yeah, fire. There it is. Ah, we lost all that case too, but no big deal. That's a vehicle kill. That is a vehicle kill. Chicken. Waiting for orders. I know that guy's got a lot of armor. So I want to make sure we can just hammer him with just about everything in one go. So that is what we're going to do. Don't want to give this guy a direct fire on us. All those machine guns. That large laser. I don't know if we can get everybody on him now. Standing by. Indirect only, eh? I'm receiving you. Well. Let's not let him get behind us. Moving at full throttle. Ten four. What's up, boss? After that experience we had with the bushwhacker, let's and uh, night witches, let's not let these guys get behind us. We know how bad that can be. Got two turns of fire left. Really lousy chances, but we're just going to shoot it. Okay, he's detected. Don't think he's going to survive past one more turn. Yeah, great. Why can't you move? You can't be blocked in there. I guess so. Uh, we're going to go over. There we go. Well, that was close. We lost a watchdog suite to that. Really? <sighs> Union class dropship. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. What's up, boss? 
Oh, now it's a race to uh, claim the base. Waiting for orders. I'm here. Somehow I was trapped in there. I don't know how that worked. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Okay. Well, that was a long mission. Commander? Sprinting. Commander? Not quite yet. Standing by. Confirmed. Waiting for order. Really hope we didn't lose too much. Affirmative. I think we've got another war our watchdog suite. Waiting for orders. Pretty sure we do. Affirmative. Good to go. Alright. It's way. all yours. I'm here. Alright, but I'm ready to go. Order. There it is, folks. Let's go home. Successful. Yeah, contract premium increased by 20%, but we lost more than 139,000, that's for sure. Uh, that's going to be repaired. Watchdog suite and a mask. Really? Well, it was the Inner Sphere mask. You know what, though? I think maybe we just make a hard choice and pull the Grinner out of the lineup. It's been a good mech, but we've got two 55 tonners now that we can uh, can definitely use some of this stuff. We just pull it out of the lineup. I think that's all we do. Okay, so we can choose, let's just two, choose two mech parts. Well, actually, let's go down and see what else we got. Zeal parts, watcher parts, ATM nines. Got three of those. Five ER larges, really. Eight of those. We got lots of stuff. Um, don't have any of these guys. I think we sold the one we had just to make some cash. SRM six triple pluses. R12 sheath beacon. I wonder. We've got one case two. Clan endo. Don't have any of. Clan XL. We've got two, but this is how we're generating C bills right now. So that's a possibility. Proof fire control system. Eh. I would rather go with these guys. Minus one recoil plus ten percent range. Don't need the gyros. Heat sink cooling pod, that's a possibility. Wow, a lot of stuff here. NSS, we got lots of these, right? We got one. It's plenty. Pirate fire control system, plus three accuracy, but plus two recoil and plus 15% heat. DTS weapons clan, plus two accuracy, 50% chance to crit. We've still got one of these kicking around. There's the war, there's a warfare suite, warfare suite QS. This is three tons though. And ammo, nothing that we really need. Okay, so let's decide. Sea bills or... We're not close to any mechs right now with any with these mechs here, with the exception of the Watcher, which we don't really want. So I'm thinking... Let's get some parts that we need. Let's grab... Don't have any of this, but we do... The mechs we do have are, I think, our clan mechs. Let's grab these two. Um, 
Let's grab the cooling pod because those are always useful. Point seven five ton patchwork materials. Maybe that. Either that or the the TTS here. It's th yeah. We've still got one, but we've got two mechs that we want to outfit. So I think maybe that surveillance cockpit. Yeah. Hunter base sight range. Minus two initiative though, it's kind of suckage. 10% reduced signature. Uh not bad, I guess. It's two tons though, isn't it? It's three tons, that's the whole thing. All right, forget that then. All right, let's go this route. So one, two Griffin parts, excellent. Rapier part, one, two, three Uziel parts, watcher part, bunch of ER mediums, another one of those triple plus SRM sixes. Yeah, so actually, okay, that's not too bad. We got really good mech parts out of that one. All right, so let's have a look here. 38,000, that's not too bad at all. Let's have a quick look at uh, star map now. We weren't really working for Smoke Jaguar, but we were pushing Wolf out of here. Yeah, so they're gone now. Excellent. Okay, so let's sell some stuff while we can. Because we can't sell out any wolf-owned planets. Command console, are you kidding me? Go buy a command console. A hundred lance base sight distance. A hundred. It's six tons though, right? But two plus two lance accuracy with indirect fire. Two resolve gains for all Lance members. Share sensor information. Two injuries resist. Takes up the whole head. That's a plus two initiative for everybody. Like, this is like OP. Especially for heavier mechs, like that's kind of needed. Um, it's a million, eh? Well, let's see what we can sell. Maybe we just buy it. Uh, I know we got the money right now, but just going to go down. Uh, let's just go to to the uh, power systems here, and let's just get rid of internal combustion engine because we don't really need that. We picked up a couple of XLs. Let's sell two of these. I was going to hang on to one just in case. And we definitely have the C-bills. Let's just pick that up. Don't need regular heat sinks. So we do have a prototype double heat sink kit. So we're going to... I don't know if we have any proto double heat sinks though, do we? No, which means we'd have to put in a shit ton big engine and use e-cooling if we're going to do that uh, heavy laser build. <sighs> well, let's have a quick look here. Um, I'm going to buy that command console for now. Eh, it seems like a silly buy, but I'm going to do it. Just so we have it sitting in storage. New equipment available. We definitely will be using that in the future. So let's have a look. Um, MechWarriors first. Yeah, we gotta wait. <laughs> but of course we do. So let's jump then. Generator, let's change our tasks here. Actually, we don't have to. We don't have to, because I'll be back by the time we get there. So the next episode, we will be fighting on uh, Ironhold here. It's gonna travel. It's a nine day trip. And what we'll do is. Um, 
I'm going to record it right after this episode, so hopefully we can add a bit of Jade Falcon-ness to the planet a bit. Um, we'll get the Mad Cat and the new Stormcrow outfitted um, with some of the new gear we picked up. We'll get rid of the Grinner. Thank you. We'll get rid of the Grinner and um, use our new mix. We might even we might just move the Atticus down to the lower lands. All right, so let's have a look at the contracts here before we leave the episode, just so we know what we're up against next time. Uh, oh boy, this could be bad. All right, we don't have anything we can do here. Oh man. All right, so I'm gonna have to jump back and forth. So uh, what I'll do is I'll set up. I'll get the the uh, two new mechs up and running. I'll get rid of the Grinner, uh, move the Atticus down to the second lance, and then um, we'll have a new mech for Mockingbird to start up next time. And I will try a heavy laser build um, and just see how that runs with what I equipment I have. Don't get me wrong, I think it can easily be built. Um, I just don't think we have all of the right gear we need to do it properly, but we'll just see what I can get out of it. We can always change it later. We got lots of sea bills right now, so I'll get it up and running. I'm going to try and do it on the Storm Crow, I think. Uh, see how that functions. All right. So we'll leave the episode there. If you like it, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in, your, in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.